Hi, it's Ramon Scott with a WNBA preview for Thursday, August 14th. We're back underway in the WNBA after the Olympic break, and let's get rolling here. We've got a three-pack of games to share with you right now and get rolling for, well, let's just call it the stretch drive. We're well past the halfway point at this time in the WNBA now. We're currently about 15 games left to go, so hey, let's get into it here right now and take a look at First game up, Mystics taking on the Lynx. The Lynx, an eight-point favorite here. Total 159, a gold medal winning Nafisa Collier. She'll be uh, in this one. She has some plantar fasciitis right now, but she's going to be able to make this game for the Lynx, third in the league right now, uh, under gold medal winning coach Reeve. Uh, maybe she didn't have a great tournament, but she's led this franchise uh, to many uh, victories and championships, so don't be down on coach Reeve uh, too much here. Going up against the Mystics, uh, Mystics not a great record this season, 6-19, and 19, but they are 8-2 and two against the spread in their last 10, 12-3 against the spread in their last 15 games. Uh, the Lynx, meanwhile, just 1-5-1 and one against the spread in their last seven, including 0-3-1 against the spread in their last four at home. They've also gone under in seven of their last eight meetings overall in this series, uh, including five of the last six overall at home for Minnesota right now. And Minnesota's been going under big time uh, before the break in seven of their last eight games overall. First meeting was just 74-67 Minnesota. Uh, Washington covered that one by nine. Uh, for the Mystics, uh, Julie Van Lu, uh, she played a terrific uh, Olympics, actually. Van La, I should say. Uh, we learned how to pronounce her name over there uh, in France, the Belgium star. They came in fourth, but uh, she was playing very, very well before the break. And I think now here in the uh, later part of the season, we're going to see Washington probably appear as a much better team than 6-19. and 19. Again, they've been a terrific cover. Uh, here, but I'm going to end up going under in this one with the Mystics and the Lynx here. Like I said, this series has been a dead under first meeting, just 141 points. So I'm going to go under in this one between the Mystics and the Lynx on Thursday. Phoenix Mercury taking on the Chicago Sky WNBA action here on Thursday. The Sky are getting three points, a total 164 and a half. Mercury five and eight straight up on the road this season. Uh, Phoenix comes in here. This is the first meeting of the season between these two teams. Uh, Phoenix with three gold medal Olympians, Kalia Copper, Brittany Griner, and Diana Taurasi uh, didn't see the floor in that championship game, and i uh, really glad she got that sixth medal. Uh, she deserved to be on the team, but nonetheless, uh, here in this one, the Mercury, they've always had trouble when playing the Sky, especially in Chicago. Chicago's won seven of the last eight meetings between these two, and they've gone nine and two against the spread in the last 11 meetings against Phoenix. So the Sky has had the better of it. Also, seven of the last eight meetings between these two have gone under. So I don't know, Phoenix, you know, uh, if anything, Griner did play a lot of minutes in the tournament. And even though they won the gold medal, it wasn't easy. And they're uh, getting in here, not saying league wide, there's going to be a problem with rest. Most of the players will be rested. The better players in the league not so much. So it does make for an interesting uh, contrast on maybe how to use your bench. I'm going to take the Sky here with the teams coming back. And Sky obviously does well against the Mercury here uh, at home. Sure, it's a different roster a little bit for the Sky. But looks like the same type of team as far as uh, their way they play. So I'm going to go ahead and take the Sky here plus the points against the Mercury on Thursday night. And finally, we're going to take a look at the Liberty here, taking on the Sparks in L.A. The Liberty favored by 11 points, total 164.5. The Liberty, they've won seven straight against Los Angeles, but Los Angeles has covered six straight against the Liberty. So what it means is the Liberty usually wins, and the Sparks usually cover their favored by too many points. Liberty, top team in the league right now, in first place. But laying 11 points here uh, for Liberty, they have Stewart and 
Ionescu coming back in from the Olympics. Uh, L.A. had their Olympian, too. Don't forget, Erica Hamby has been uh, in the news here a little bit this week as we get ready to start the last part of the season. But she earned a bronze medal in the three by three, the three on three competition at the Olympic Games. So L.A. is four and one against the spread at home last five in this series. I already explained L.A. covering the series games here, and it happened so far this year as well. Both meetings in New York, uh, Liberty won by 13. They were favored by 14 and a half. Second meeting, Liberty was favored by 10 and uh, or 14 and a half, and they won by 10. So both games went over. Sparks got the money in both, and I'm going to think that's the way it's going to go here. I think Liberty wins. Sparks probably cover. Not going to get double digits on the road right now. I'm going to take the Sparks here, plus the points at home on Thursday. All right, be sure to check me out over at Tony'sPicks.com. Use the promo code TONYT at checkout. Save 20% off all premium pick packages, including mine here on Thursday in the WNBA and Major League Baseball. Check me out over at Tony'sPicks.com. You can check out my handicapper profile page and see the packages that I have also there and my previous records as well. Check out my three-day, seven-day, or 30-day passes, and I also have premium pick packages. If you want to just check out one day of action, you can do so with me over at Tony'sPicks.com with our profit guaranteed packages. If I don't produce a profit in my single day packages, you can get credits back to your account to use on me or another handicapper here at Tony'sPicks.com. For Tony'sPicks.com, I'm Ramon Scott.